always gotta feed them And I ain't got no feelings cause I really never need them Been fighting with the devil when I feel like I'm the best to Turn my back on the streets, I can't let them be the death of me Nigga run up on me, he get burned, make some calories Keep this bitch up on me cause I know the devil had the me Say I keep this bitch up on me cause I know the devil had the me Hard code and it's only getting cold It's only getting cold. Gotta move smart if you plan on getting older. My brother got a life, gotta be there for my brother. Niggas kill my cousin, gotta make their mama suffer. What up, family? It's your boy Street News TV. Back at y'all with another Shyrak Street Legends. And this episode is gonna be about none other than TBU Breezy, aka Breezy Montana. Now, I'm very excited to do this episode. Reason being is because Breezy's actually from my old neighborhood. He's from uh, Chicago Avenue in Laramie. You know what I'm saying? Breezy's an unknown vice lord. You know, I got to give I gotta get dude his credit, man. Dude is one of the, you know what I'm saying? He one of the type of dudes, man, that he's not just out in the streets in the way. You see what I'm saying? He do a lot of stuff for the community and the kids. And that's very important because a lot of niggas that, you know what I'm saying, that come from the streets or that be in the streets or whatever, you know, they don't, you know, Honestly speaking, man, they you know they don't care nothing about the kids, and that's what it's all Switch cars, cause I know I'm fast watch. Got my mama's crying, cause we make them bodies drown. Ayy, back at it, but I've been had it. Ayy, get deep to it with a fully automatic. Ayy, now I can keep a blacky on it. Ayy, fast watching, but I'm serving cracky on it. See what I'm saying? I mean, you can slide all day. You can, you know, you can make all the money you want to. But if you're not using, you know, your influence or your money or whatever it is that you're doing to give back to the community that nine times out of ten, you've, you, 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 you know, you raping and pillaging or you have raped and pillaged or you have, you know, exploited the community. You know what I'm saying? If you're not using, you know, the money that you're making to give back to those kids, man, you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, that 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 just is what it is. And see, that's one reason why we had so much love for the Angelos, you know, the guys like that. Because these guys were giving back to the hood. You know what I'm saying? These guys were making sure that the shorties in the hood was good. You know what I'm saying? They made sure that the shorties in the hood went to school. They actually um, promoted and uplifted shorties when they was, you know what I'm saying, out there on the basketball court trying to get it in, trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? They would cuff these shorties. Versus now, you know what I'm saying, it ain't, it ain't like that. Like, no one's, you know, encouraging the shorties to do better. And what I like about Breezy is that he's actually one of the ones that, that you know, that's out here doing it. Now, Breezy, um, he been doing music for a minute. He took a little time off, you know, just dealing with life and, you know, but... Breezy actually just dropped some music um, last week. What the shit we gonna talk about? Y'all ain't know the good shit. I'm praying for forgiveness, gotta do what I gotta do. The streets got a hold of me, the devil controlling me. I'm praying for forgiveness, gotta do what I gotta do. The streets got a hold of me, the devil controlling me. I'm walking through the fire, don't know if I can make it. Let off 16 shots, man, these police is racist. Good luck on that appeal if you fighting them cases. I'm crying out for help, shit, I hope that I make it. And he actually got a lot more music coming, man. So y'all, you know, y'all be prepared for that. I support this and I'm riding with this, you know what I'm saying? From one West Side nigga to the other. Give a, you know what I'm saying? You know, a big old shout out to Breezy, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's actually one of those artists in Chicago that doesn't get as much exposure as he should. You see what I'm saying? So I want y'all to, you know, I want y'all to shine right here, man. I want y'all to shine, you know what I'm saying, for the gang, man. I want y'all to, you know, share this. I want y'all to like this and I want y'all to comment because this is what we need. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is positivity right here. This is definitely positivity right here. We need more of this than anything. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, right now, the negativity tends to over, you know, overshadow the positivity. You know, you have people that always, you know, I always want to hear about or talk about, you know, the 
the gang violence that's going on in the street, but they don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't talk about or want to hear about the positive things that are going on in the streets with a lot of these guys. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys are uh, a part of stop the violence groups. You see what I'm saying? They really trying to make a change in the neighborhood. Now, Breezy was involved in a little situation about four or five days ago now where he was walking out of a store and he was on live. Well, he had walked out of the store to walk into another store or he was passing the store when the guy actually grabbed him and tried to rob him. Come shop. Hey, my brother. You already know, playboy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see that. You ain't see that. You ain't see that. After the guy grabbed him and tried to rob him. Another guy walked up, so they was finna try to rob Breezy. But lo and behold, Breezy was on point. You know what I'm saying? He got to his, you know, he got to his pole and he started airing the guys out. You see what I'm saying? The guys got out of there. They was trying to rob that man, and he, you know, he defended himself like anybody should and anybody would. What a lot of people don't know is that there was another situation that took place last year. Where it was the same type of thing that occurred, but only that time Breezy ended up killing one guy and shooting two other people. Like, see, Breezy, that's my nigga, right? Right. This block, now it was a murder over there maybe about, not even a year ago. Some niggas right. tried him, tried him again, tried him, tried to rob him in a store across the street. He left the nigga brains on the, on the, on the, on the, uh. Police are investigating a shooting on the city's west side. WGN's Patrick Elwood just arrived on scene. What do you have for us, Pat? Joe and Mike, a very active crime scene right now here at the corner of Laramie and Chicago, 5200 West. It centers around this convenience store here, Chicago Avenue Foods. Our understanding is at least one person is dead. We're also hearing perhaps two people may have been shot, but at least one person is dead. No secret, they know we get busy. Try to rob, well, you know this shit risk. Yeah. yeah, you know this shit risk. Yeah. All of my niggas stay with it. All of my niggas stay with it. We taking over the city. We taking over the city. Too much busy and stuff that we fit. No secret, they know we get busy. Try to rob, well, you know this shit risk. Yeah, yeah, you know this shit risk. They know that I handle my business. I be scraping the pot in the kitchen. Running up bands like fitness. Flood the block with the D like the pistols. For the same type of stuff. So if I'm on the outside looking in, I'm going to say this. Leave Shorty alone, man. Leave Shorty alone, man. Y'all trying, y'all steady trying to rob Shorty. Like Shorty ain't, you know what I'm saying? Shorty ain't playing with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shorty ain't, like Shorty ain't going. You see what I'm saying? And, and you know that, and that's just what that is. Like for real, go on here and let Shorty, Shorty do him. I'm saying niggas keep coming up on shorty trying to rob shorty. It ain't turning out good for him, man. It ain't turning out good for him at all. I want y'all to go to uh go to this, you know what I'm saying? Like go to this platform, bro. Go to this IG, man. Check shorty out on IG. You know what I'm saying? Go to some of his videos on YouTube. We gonna turn shorty up, man. You know, West Side nigga. Fucking with another West Side nigga, man. And you know we gonna keep it rocking just like that. It's your boy Street News TV. I'm out.